Hi, it's Lindsay from Buy, Sell, Love, Durham. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of my Tuesday morning market update. It's my opportunity weekly to share with Oshawa, Whitby and Clarington just what's happening with real estate. And I'm standing here, I'm in Oshawa, I'm on Dean Avenue. In behind me is Habitat for Humanity's new build. They're building quite a few new homes here. This is like exactly what Durham region needs, which is more affordable housing. And they're building quite a few of these units. These are in behind me and then there's kind of they're stacked in behind as well. So this is like really exciting. And I know that they've got something planned for Clarington as well. So, you know, kudos to Habitat for Humanity. It's uh, from the GTA. So it's located out of Toronto, but this is the biggest build they've done east of the city. This is awesome. So before we jump into the numbers, I want to kind of cover something. And I've got a blog that's tagged into this um, this video in Basically what the blog is talking about is this. So over the last couple of weeks, I've, I've read articles, I've seen some streaming services where the conversation or the narrative is that the suburbs around the city of Toronto are gonna to drop in value dramatically, much more so than Toronto itself. So, I mean, and what they're saying is that their, their rationale is because the values jumped up so high that they're going to drop like a rock. So now this is, typical i've been doing this for 37 38 years this is typical of torontonians believe that they're the center of the universe and that you know like they're totally protected but the outlying areas are just not as valuable so here's what's happened since the first of the month since the first of june brampton's prices if we go west to east brampton's prices have dropped 10 percent mississauga's prices have dropped 11 percent the city of toronto actually has dropped 12 percent now, Durham region itself, since the first of the month, has dropped 7.6%, and Oshawa's detached homes are actually up in value from the first of the month. So, so much for the city of Toronto being the crown jewel. I think what's happening, and what I can see is this, there's a lot of buyers moving from the west end out to the east end, it's been happening for the last couple of years, is strictly because Durham region's prices are so reasonable compared to the rest of the GTA. Now. If you look at Mississauga detached homes and you compare them to the detached homes in Oshawa, the homes in Oshawa, the average price is $590,000 cheaper in Oshawa than it is in Mississauga, which is why I can see people are moving still from the west to the east. The city of Toronto, obviously there's going to be people moving back in because the employers are starting to ask people to come back to their offices. So we're going to start seeing some sales where people are listing their houses in Durham region to move back into the center of town. So. Anyways, that's kind of what's happening. Now, if we jump straight into the numbers, in the last seven days, we've had 282 homes come to market. That's down 36 from the, from the week before. So this is good. It means that there's fewer homes coming on the market, which is allowing really the buyers to, to buy. There's still inventory coming on, but not at the amounts that was coming on over the last couple of weeks. Conditionally sold, we've had 65 homes leave the market sold conditionally, and 139 homes leave the market sold firm. So what we are is we're up nine units in sales. We're down 36 units in number of homes coming on the market. This is a great time to buy. It's a great time to put your house on the market and get it sold. If you got any questions, I can be reached at 905 area code 743-5555, or you can catch me down here at the email address at the bottom of the screen. Have a good week. Oshawa, Whippy, and Clarington.